How about an entry level travel trailer? Just over 24 feet, just over 4,700 pounds with two queen beds. What? There's no way. Let the 19SM show you the way. What do you want? Oh, hey. Oh, what's up, Robert? Hey, everybody. Chris Young. I was not sleeping, maybe, inside this comfy queen-size bed slide located at the rear of the 19SM. Now, just a second ago, I had mentioned you had two queen beds inside a travel trailer that was roughly 24 feet long. How are they able to do this? With this right here. You got a queen size bed in its own slide, privacy curtains. I got my large window right here, which also doubles as an as a uh, emergency exit. Got four LED mushroom lights right here, plenty of reading light and just light in general. Plus, when you talk about having a queen bed inside of a slide, it really does open up the space for you to be able to do a lot more than what you would think you could do. Now, Forest River, with these right here, so this is the Grey Wolf, the 19SM, the 2021. What they've done with these, they've included a ton of features, a ton of amenities inside an entry-level travel trailer. Stuff that you won't find in many other like travel trailers. For example, wood valances, curtains on the side, decorative curtains. I got my day and my night shades right here, my privacy shades. Got a 13.5 BTU air conditioner, 20,000 BTU furnace. This also has that quick cool, so you can just get that cool dump going. Um, but plenty of entertainment space and plenty of living space. Now, the way this would work when the slide's in is obviously these would have to be down. So the booth dinette, which I'm gonna get to here in a minute, would have to be down in a sleeping position. The jackknife sofa would also have to be down so that the bed slide could come in. But we got solid wood construction on this slide all the way around. Once again, another feature of Forest River, putting some of that amenity that you're not gonna find into a lot of campers inside of theirs. They really do a good sustainable job of manufacturing too, reducing their carbon footprint, allowing them to pass on savings to you. But comfy sofa that reduces down into a bed. This is a jackknife sofa. I got the booth dinette with storage underneath. See right here, we actually have it bolted closed, but you got storage underneath both sides right here. That does reduce down into a bed. But here on the campsite, I got good space to reconnect. This table is removable, but look at the giant window that I have here, this panoramic window on the campsite. Open that up, open that up on the off-camp side, get the cross breeze going. Imagine setting this up as a cabin or as a getaway, the lake, the beach, the mountains, just you got land that you like to do hunting on. Great option for you right here. Plus entry level, but packed full of amenities that you're not gonna find, including insulation, we got a fully walkable roof. We got an enclosed underbelly. And we got a black tank flush. Got a powder coated frame that's welded, not bolted. Man, this is a well-made camper, all right? Well-made. My entertainment spot is right there across from me. So if I want to sit back, watch some TV, I could, which is also really uh, easily viewable pretty much everywhere inside the camper, except for the front sleeping area. So this would really have to be your entertainment option because the separation of space doesn't allow you to see the TV from the front. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Solid wood cabinetry going all the way around. Look at my storage space I have here in my pantry, which also doubles as a ward. I got a 10 cubic foot fridge, freezer combo. This is at Furion, the 12 volt also known as the, vib the uh, Vibration Smart fridges. Um, but I mean, 10 cubic foot of space. Look at the room that you have there. Great for those long weekend getaways, that trip going across country. This is that travel trailer that could really be multi-versatile because the slide that we have is in the back. There's no side slides. But look at the room that I have here. Yep, having that bedroom slide back there really opens up my space. Not only that, you're accessible to the bathroom even while in transit, because your entry access is right across from the bathroom right here. So if you're in transit, you wanna stop, you got your plastic bowl with the foot flush here. I got my seamless countertop here for my, my, my bathroom. Got the single basin sink, the graphite style fixtures. I got the motion activated LED light, large mirrored medicine cabinet. 
and I have those raised lips right there. That's what helps kind of keep things in place while you're in transit. So when you do get to where you're going, you open it up, stuff's not gonna fall out all over you. And I got the uh, pipe excess right here. Maybe a little hideaway storage on the other side. Single surround on my shower tub combo right here. I mean, this, this is a, technically it could be a tub if you wanted it to be, but water's gonna get everywhere. But imagine if you had your pets and having this skylight being 6'2 really gives me the headroom that I need too. But this skylight lets in tons of natural light. We don't even have the light on in the bathroom. But if you have the pets or the kids, you could bring them in here, spray them off, get them nice and clean. You got a single surround shower. You're not gonna be cramped left or right or up and down. You got the corner notches for what you need, residential style, plenty of space. And once again, the slide is in the back. So you're not cramped uh, for a 24 foot RV. Man, you can't beat that. And then you come over here with the limited package. You see we have the upgraded features inside the kitchen. The backsplash, the wood guard right here, the high output three burner cooktop with glass cover and grill style grate. Got the LED accent lights. Got the Greystone oven right there, the 16 inch. Got the high output driven microwave too. What does high output mean? That just means that for, for campers this size, you usually don't get a microwave with this much wattage that you would get. So they've upgraded some of those features to make it easier to give you some of those amenities and creature comforts of home. Wood inlay right here, frosted glass inlay in my shaker style cabinets. Space right there. Plus I got my Wi-Fi connector, my Wi-Fi booster. The thing I like about the entertainment centers in the Forest River campers, uh, they have the driven systems, which have near field communication. So if you're, you have a cell phone that has NFC on it, you can actually connect up there and run this off your cell phone. Plus, they have an app and a remote that allows you to not only run the, you know, the awnings out, this and the other thing, you can also run the entertainment. But it's dual zone, so you can play the music inside and out. Plus, I got my HDMI and my USB. Got my solid single uh, surface countertop with the farmhouse style undermounted sink with the apron and the high rise faucet and sprayer. I got the cover that also doubles as a cutting board right there. Just beautiful and residential. Wood balance on my campsite uh, window. Solid wood construction, full extension on ball bearing drives. You're gonna get that on all the, the uh, drawers here. Deep well, good space for storage. Now here's the great thing about uh, you know an RV, plus I got some space right there, a good spot for a trash can. Um, here's the great thing about RVs. You get it, it's whatever you want to do with it. If you say, yeah, that's good kitchen space, but I want to put my fishing lures in there. I want to put some of my hunting gear in there. Go for it, man. It's your camper. Do it as you please. Got my command center right here. Check my battery, my fresh, my black tank, cut on my pump, my heater, uh, run the lights, the slides, the awning. And right up here, you have what makes this 19SM so versatile. Not only can this be great storage space, because you have a spot under the bed here that you can put storage, which is also accessible from the outside, but you got a queen size bed up here, a camp queen with your own light, good cubby storage space right there that extends the ward. You'll see it goes both front and back with the space here, but you also have a single over bunk right here with the teddy bear style mattress. Got the power port, the dual USB charging, both top and below, plus ward storage right here. So picture yourself doing that ladies beach weekend or that ladies wine tour. You wanna get away. You got a place for somebody to sleep here. A couple people sleep there. Somebody in the booth dinette, somebody on the jackknife sofa, somebody back there on the queen size bed. You can sleep eight people in this thing easily. But if you're hanging out, you got people sitting there in the booth of dinette, people sitting on the jackknife sofa. You're all laughing and talking about how great the trip was, reconnecting. This is your hangout spot right here. Versatility, comfort style, and amenities. You're gonna find in these Forest River travel trailers, you won't find anywhere else. I also like the pattern here on the blackout privacy curtain. They just did a good job. They did a really good job. So we got beautiful stuff on the inside. We got a lot of features on the outside that you can't see, but you will definitely be able to feel if you pick up this 19SM. So what do you say we go check out the outside right now?
Okay, so here we are on the outside of the all new 2021 Forest River Gray Wolf 19 SM. Got the diamond plated rock guard. Got that fiberglass roof going all the way over the top that also reduces the wind resistance because of the profile, helping you save on some of that gas mileage. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, power tongue jack with LED light. Talk about helping with setup and hitching. Makes life so much easier when you have this. The beam on this, the frame and the beam, not only are they powder coated, they are welded. They're not bolted. So the whole thing is one piece that's been welded together, giving you additional security, additional safety. Come around here to the campsite. We got the anti-slam latches on the pass-through storage, or excuse me, the storage access right here. You'll see this is finished off. And right there, the solar charge. Yes, this comes prepped for solar. So if you have the panels, you're good to go. Aluminum siding, I love the gray on the blue. This color scheme is so much better than what they did a few years ago, at least in my opinion. I was not a fan of the brown on brown. Large awning with the LED light strip, solid steps. Got my leveling jacks right there. And this is a enclosed underbelly through there. So that's a biggie because having that means if you're going down the road, you get those rocks and the debris that kicks up, it's not gonna damage the underbelly or worse, damage those tanks. External speakers here, TV mount, sealed safety glass all the way around. I got the extra large door handle, which doubles as a guard. Double axle travel trailer right here. Those are the nitrogen filled tires on the 15 inch aluminum rims. And we have the tire pressure monitors right there. This is nitro filled, extra wide berth right there in the, in the uh, axles and the suspension. That's gonna help when you're going down the road with that swaying back and forth, you won't get as much rocking. If you do bring your camp grill with you, you got your LP quick connect right there. So you can plug it in, run the awning out. You got the TV here. You got your cable connections and your power connections, your dual zone speakers. You're entertaining, you're having a good time, doing the grilling, doing the cooking. You even got a safety latch for the furry friends if you bring them along because you never know what might happen at the campsite. Just another feature that Forest River thought about when they built this 19SM. Four by four sewer hose storage there. Got my bike rack right here and spare tire. And of course, this is that uh, bed slide on the back that you won't be able to see it from here, but this one is set up for backup camera. And you see those arch ceilings that helps with uh, keeping the rain and the snow and the elements off of this camper. And those rubber nozzles are going to make sure it doesn't stay on you or your friends or family. Rear leveling jacks on both sides. Got my 30 amp power connection source right here. External shower, fresh water connection, city water connection black tank flush. This is a great option to have on any travel trailer just because it flushes the black tank. Hot and cold here on my external shower. So when you get done camping, you know, fishing, hunting, doing whatever, hiking, biking, you can come get cleaned off outside and not track that stuff on the inside. Got my main terminations located right underneath. Gray tank, black tank, low point drain right past there. You can probably barely see it. Got your cable connection here, but as always, I like to say the most important part of any RV that you're gonna look at is gonna be this info panel right here. For example, gross vehicle weight on this one, 7,500 pounds. Now, this is where you ask your specialist, um, you say, well, you know, the, the dry weight is this, the gross weight is this, this is what my vehicle can tow, is this right for me? Let them walk you through that, let them help you because they've been trained to do that and ask the questions. I wish I could be there to help you with it, but. Unfortunately, I can't be, but they are, and they're wonderful at it. So tell me what you liked about the 2021 Forest River Gray Wolf 19SM, or what you didn't like. I love hearing from you. I love the features. I love the versatility of this one. Got to tell you though, I'm not really crazy about, you know, some of the things in there, how the kitchen's laid out. Just me, just my own personal thing. I probably would have put an extra light in the back. Hey. That's my thing, what's your thing? I love hearing from you. But do me a favor, just leave me some comments down below. If you would, please also click like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope I get a chance to see you soon. But as always, until then, come check out a camper, because they are fun. I'll see you soon.